Right guys, welcome to the new Regal Gentleman Studios. Today we've got Tammy in the chair. How are you, mate? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you, mate. Can't complain. Um, so what are we doing today? What's the um, so right now, like my hair is, I ran out of products, so my hair is a little like flat right now. Sorry. Um, but I'm trying to go for a middle part, and okay. uh, I want to grow out my hair, but right now it's like pretty uneven. Okay. Yeah, in the awkward stage. Okay. Um, but so what I'm before is just, I think it's a taper, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so like where my hair just kind of sits right on the side, because right now, like when it's sitting, it, like this is like bulging out underneath it. Okay. Um, so I don't know if exactly, so like I'm not trying to go for like a skin fade, but just like keep the hair pretty long on the sides. Um, okay, it's quite, quite, quite dramatic either or, either or, isn't it? So you're you looking, you're looking to grow your hair? Or are you just looking to grow the top out? What are you thinking? Um, I can only grow the top out, but then cut the sides. Cut uh, the sides in, okay. if we yeah. need to, then like, we can take, cut the top. Right, okay, yeah. Well, I was just a bit confused when you said you were growing your hair out and then you said a skin fade. I was oh thinking. yeah, sorry, no. Okay, um, okay no worries. Um, so, the center part is, I mean, as you can see, you can kind of grow a center part anyway. It sort of falls into one. It's yeah. just a fringe falls a bit forward forwards, yeah. but that's okay, we can work on that one. Okay. Um, if I'm honest, I think the length on the top is probably there, mate, if, okay. I, if, if, I, if I'm honest. I just don't know whether, have you have you got any ideas or any images that you've seen that you like the look of that you can kind of give me a bit of a um, understanding? Cause I tried so looking for images on the way here. I just didn't really know like what to look up exactly to try and find okay, it. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I just want to keep, so I want to do um, like, so like not, not have it like all the way down to the skin, okay. um, but still keep some length on it and then have okay. it like fade up and like sit nicely up against the header. Right, okay then, okay. Um, the only way you'll see a fade is if you see a difference in, in, in graduation. Okay. So again, the fade term is, is used quite loosely nowadays, okay. um, but essentially a fade is when you can see the, the shadow of the hair going from like sort of short to long. Um, with your hair, you'd have to go very short to see that okay. because of your color of your hair. Because yeah. if, you if you think about it, if you're leaving length on the top, the only way you're going to see a fade is if you go super short down the very okay. bottom. But if you want to keep more length in it, it's probably a, a, like a taper. We could call okay. it a taper if you want to call it a taper. Okay. Um, my my word in this is probably slightly still a bit old school because that's how I was taught. Yeah. I was taught that taper to me is like getting rid of unwanted, unnecessary length, okay. going a bit shorter on the neck and the side bends. It's not like what you see nowadays where you see like skin fade. Yeah. Basically, it's basically a skin fade here and at the back. Yeah. If, is that what you're thinking of or do you want some, something that's just a bit shorter that shows the top length off a bit longer? Um, I think the... What? The latter. Yes. Okay, yeah, that, that makes more sense, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I think... Um, I think you're probably best getting a scissor cut then, mate, and then maybe just a little bit of freehand okay. clipper around Perfect. the edges. Yeah. Um, the, the main thing is you want to try and keep as much length on the top yes. to the centre point. Yeah. Um, do you want it to be a sort of quite a heavy overhang, or do you prefer it to all kind of blend in and maybe just leave the front a bit longer? Um, what, they have it all blend in. And then have it all blend in. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, that makes more sense. Have you been growing this out? Like, have you had this centre part cut in yet, or is this just uh, been growing no? Out? This is so. This is about six months worth yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the last haircut i got it wasn't that great oh okay okay, okay. <laughs> um, but that's fair that's fair okay all right well um it, it, you've done well to go it out and i think i think you've picked a style that works as well which is oh, okay. which is all good right. <laughs> i think maybe you've got just an off center part though so okay more than going for something that's maybe smack bang in the middle okay. like I, I know it looks like it is but it's kind of slightly off okay. if you look at where your nose is I'd stick to it though, okay. because it seems to fall perfectly, and it'll just save you a lot of effort, a lot okay. of time. And I think I'll be able to cut it better in that shape for you as well. Perfect. So, um, but yeah, are you happy getting it off the ears, really nice and tidy on the yeah. sideburns? Yeah. 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 All right, cool, man. Uh, and then we'll taper the neck nice and tight as well. So, all right, cool. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. All right, well, let's get you gowned up and uh, we'll get started, mate. Yeah. Awesome. Exciting trim, this, mate. I like these ones. <laughs> it's always fun. It's always like because it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a transformation because of you haven't had this haircut yet, but yeah. it's. You know, it's uh, it's something that's going to work, I think, really well for you as well. Mm. So that's the main thing. There we go. So how did you find growing your hair? Um, per, I mean, it, it's not been too bad. Uh, no. Like I said, it's I cut my got my hair cut for prom, and then that was back in May. I think right, so. Okay. Maybe less than six months. Ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, it's because all my friends have super long hair, and like theirs looks super good, so okay. I just wanted to try it out. <laughs> have you had any problems, any struggles? Um, no, not really. Uh, I've been finding uh, trouble, or sorry, I've been having trouble finding a product that really works for me. Um, okay. So okay. if you have any recommendations, I'm definitely willing to hear it. Hundred um, percent, mate. Hundred percent, yeah. What, so in, in, in terms of um, the struggle you found, what, what, is, what is your common problem you found with the products you've, you, you've, you've been using? Um, so a few of them is just like making my hair look a little greasy. Like they, right. I haven't been using gels, but... Okay. Um, and then obviously nothing like that's been able to keep my hair in place. Um, so like when I've been growing it out, I've been like pushing it back every day and like trying to do the middle part, but then like after a while it just falls flat and I, it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look that great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, well, 
I think there's a, I think there's a few reasons that's happening. Um, obviously, a good product is, is a good thing. Yeah. You know, get, find the right product for you is good. Um, it's also obviously the cut because you've obviously not had the hair cut into this shape. Yeah. You know, so it's been growing out. So yeah. a lot of the time, most haircuts don't. You know, if you're going for a completely different look than what you've had, if it hasn't been cut that way on the growing out yeah. period, like you had like a maintenance trim as we call mm -hmm. them, a maintenance cut then what you'll find is that it is very hard to make it work into okay. something, you know? Yeah. But your hair is very flat. It's very flat, <laughs> have you noticed that? Yeah. yeah. It's very, it's lovely, lovely texture hair. I think you can do an awful lot with it. I think you've picked a good, uh, a good style because I'd imagine if we go back to the 90s, your hair would have been perfect for this kind of look, you know what I mean? If you think about the guys who had it, like DiCaprio and all yeah. that, very similar hair texture, oh. very similar hair colour. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think product-wise, I would probably recommend you a styling powder, okay. if I'm honest. I think that's probably the better one for you. Okay. Um, reason being is that it'll give you more thickness, it'll give you more volume. Okay. It will, it looks like you've got nothing in your hair whatsoever, but it just, it creates a separation and a bit of a kind of, um, it shows that you've got product in your hair, if that makes sense, yeah. without it overloading your, your hair okay. with product. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'd, I, would, I would probably recommend the powder for you. Okay. Um, Again, blow. I don't think you'd need to worry too much about the blow drying aspect neither. I think because we're cutting it so heavily into the, your natural sort of centre part or just off centre part, yeah. Um, to be precise, but I don't think you'd need to worry too much about blow drying. I think you could let this dry naturally. If you wanted a bit more volume in there, you okay. could use a hair dryer and a brush. Yeah. Again, it becomes a lot of effort, which most hairstyles nowadays do require a bit of effort. You know yeah. what I mean? Like even mine requires a little bit of effort. I know, <laughs> yeah. I, know I literally, I know I, I, I styled this just before we started with, with, with your hair. Um, and I just put the hairdryer on dead quick, only because it was still a bit wet from the shower. But, mm. um, you know, my hair still requires, you know, good product, good hold, yeah. um, a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. Mm. Not a lot though, maybe an, a minute or 30 seconds or something. Yeah. But, you know, most styles, like, you know, I've got a very, I'd say probably a, a, bit, of a, a bit of an outdated hairstyle in a way, <laughs> because the, the trends that you're seeing nowadays are what you're having. Yeah. So this isn't messy texture, it's not really some, something that I notice mm -hmm. is still, is still flying around at the moment. Like, um, but needless to say, you know, mine still takes a bit of effort. Yeah. So, you know, yours will take that little tiny bit more effort, but if you're willing to do it, you know, it, it's all right. But I think you've, you're probably one of the lucky ones who's got the right hair texture for this. Yeah. So I think you've made my life a bit easier today, mate. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is nice. Right, I'm just going to clip this up. So what I've done guys is I've put um, a horseshoe um, section in this because again, we want to, we, we need to start building this hairstyle. And he started building this cut for Tammy because, like he's been saying, he um, he didn't have this haircut cut in last. He wasn't particularly overjoyed with the last haircut. Um, so we need to kind of work on creating this style. So what I'm going to do, I'm just using some clips, just because it's I want this to fall better for him. So I'm just going to, I need to lower this down slightly. So this needs to be just a little bit below the round of the head. And you can tell that because it's starting to fort itself down. So that's not, like the round of the head, it's sort of maybe just a little bit below the round of the head, but I need to use clips for that. Only because when we're doing something like a centre part, we st Tommy still wants a graduation, he still wants to blend into the, the length on top. We're going to leave the fringe a little bit disconnected, that's what will show off the kind of curtains effect, like the centre part. But we need to leave it a little touch lower than the round of the head, just so we don't go too high. Um, and then that way it's a lot of, a, a bit of a nicer transition, I find. Mm -hmm. like that. So what I'm going to do, for, for Tommy, I'm going to do a bit of a kind of, um, uh, uh, Bespoke haircut, I guess. I'm going to scissor over the back and sides. I'm going to taper in the sideburns, taper in the, the, the close to the ears, uh, close on the neck as well. I mean, that'll be a perfect haircut for, for Tammy anyway through the back and sides because, as, as you can see, his neckline does grow quite sparse and it's got different growth patterns as well. So I think tapering that right out will look awesome. Um, it'll just give a very nice clean finish to it. Um, so, again, probably scissor over comb back and sides, a little bit of freehand clipper to, to create that kind of taper effect. And then, uh, but we, we do need to leave still a, quite a bit of length up here as well because we want to graduate it into the top. We don't want to remove too much length. The crown I did notice at the start was a little bit shorter, which we'll notice in a minute um, than everywhere else. But we need to leave you know a fair amount of length at the top. We also take some off so we can create that shape. But first of all, before we do anything like that, I've got the back and side sectioned off. I want to check his face shape. So if you look at where, put the comb on, look at Tammy's cheekbone. Okay, watch this. So you can see it comes out on an angle almost rocks on the cheek on the cheekbone so as you see that would be a diamond if you look at it coming into the point in the chin so that's a good haircut for Tommy I think it's also a good one that you could also leave more length in your hair as well okay so anyone with a diamond face shape you just tend to leave a lot more length at the corner 
but you can also get away with leaving more length through here because yeah. you can sit it quite flat as well. All right. right. So let's start first with cutting the back and sides in. So like I said, I'm going to keep a little bit of length at the top. So we've got that nice transition, that nice blend, uh, graduation, fade, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what that will do is just allow us to keep as much length on the top as we possibly can. Okay. We need to try and keep as much length up here as possible and then get that really nice fade into the bottom of the neck. So let's just take a little bit off. Let's just take about that much off. As you can see, I'm elevating the hair. So it lies on top of the neck section and then lies on top of the neck section. So we're creating that weight and that length at the top, but still being able to get a nice seamless blend into the neckline as well. The guide is just sitting underneath and we elevate it up. So Tammy's head is slightly down as well. Just allow me to kind of get that elevation in there a bit more. So again, we need to leave that weight at the corner, which then will allow us to do, create a nice taper into the side bends. And as we reach the occipital bone at the back here, this is where we start to create that taper. So if you look there, the taper starts from the bone at the back. Okay, that's where you start to create that shape into the head. We basically just follow the head shape. And that's what we create. So we leave more length at the top, up here, and then that graduates in. And now I'm just getting closer and closer to the neck. And what we'll start to do is sort of work back up into our last previously cut sections to create that nice seamless finish. Get up now, we've got the guide from the right hand side now. So we put this up, here's our guide. Now don't worry if more length comes off, right? Don't forget you've got your guide and you're happy with your guide. That was your first cut that you did. You were happy with it. Be, you, we're, we're look, basically we're working off somebody else's haircut at the moment, so it's not going to be yours. So what you may think is the right thing to do may have, may have been a difference of opinion to the other barber or hairdresser who done their last haircut. So as long as you follow your guide, it do, it, don't worry about if there's more hair coming through. As long as you see your guide on the right hand side, just follow it. So I'm keeping the head moved over at all times, so it's just on a slight angle, just for my elevation. It's just, it's just contributing to a better elevation for me. Because if his head was like, say, straight on, you'd have to really arch your comb and lift it right up. So if I just tilt his head over, just working with the client, it allows me to get a nice bit more elevation on there as well. A bit more comfortable for, for me and for, for Tammy. Now this is where we start the taper now. There's the head shape that we're cutting in there as well, so we're losing that length. It's nice and seamless, and it'll fall really nicely into that taper as well. Okay, the section's nice and tight, because again, we're going from longer to short, so the tighter the sections, the, the more seamless it will be. If we've done really big sections, you just see every single cut that we've made. So this is a matador size five comb that I'm using for this. This is the sort of comb that I use for pretty much every scissor work that I do, regardless of the length, you know, if I'm doing scissor over comb, for example. Um, but this goes down in length to probably like maybe a number two if it was pressed against the skin. So if you think about what I'm doing here, I'm going from the length up here down to a number two. That's essentially what I'm doing. So if it, maybe if, if scissor over comb isn't your thing, um, I'm doing basically a number two down the bottom at the moment, maybe I'm starting with a number two and then I'm blending up as well. Um, so if that is, if that maybe, yeah, again, working with clippers is more you, um, then that's kind of what I'm doing. So we just create more length at the top and working down to roughly a number two. So 
So where are you from, Tommy? Uh, I'm from Illinois. I'm just outside of Chicago. Oh, lovely one. Yeah. And you're studying over here, did you say? Yeah. Yes, I am. Uh, what are you studying? So it's its own program, and like they have their own building. Building it's right by uh, Bloomsbury. Oh, okay. Um, it's just called Verdo. But nice. yeah, so I'm here for a semester until like early December. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, and then I'm going back. Um, wow. It's been lovely so far. Oh, that's amazing. I, every, everyone's a lot nicer here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that in case anyone from Illinois. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's always nice to hear when people like are studying in, in the UK that yeah, have a good great. time. You know, what are you finding good about London? Um, well, like I said, the people are just a lot nicer. The city, the architecture is great. It is, isn't um, it? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot different. Um, and then um, I don't know. We are going to um, where are we going? Our school went to Stonehenge last week. Oh yeah, that was great. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to France in two weeks. Oh wow! Um, yeah, okay. so we're all we're going everywhere, but um, sounds cool, that man. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So tell me about the sorts of uh, the styles in Illinois at the moment, or where, where you're from, like um, um, what what what's the hairstyles like at the moment? Honestly, it's super diverse. There's a lot of mullets. Oh wow! That are coming okay. back. Yeah, um, that's a new trend that's been going on for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's really not a set one. Um, I would say middle parts are a big one as well. Middle parts are, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, nice, um, nice. But you yeah, know, it's it's pretty diverse where I'm at. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. What have you noticed about London? What have you noticed? Sort of, if you've if you've seen the trends, what have you what have you noticed that are flying around here? Um, where to, for here in London? Yeah, uh, a lot shorter hair. I would oh, say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, like when for like. When I say middle parts, it's like super long hair, middle parts. Uh, right, okay, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's, I would say a lot shorter hair for the people that are around here. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Like, I, I used to have like a, a sort of the, 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 the trendy mullet back in like the sort of mid-2000s when it was like popular, <laughs> like then. Um, but I don't know if I could pull one off now. I've seen a few, I've actually seen a few in my, my son's school, actually, um, which I was quite surprised about. So I wasn't expecting to see many mullets, but... It is. It's definitely a, It's definitely an interesting style. I think some people go all out and have the moustache as well, don't they? And yeah. Make it really, really 80s or whatever. Whenever mm. it was out, I think it was the 80s, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, it's quite an interesting one. I'd be interesting to see when um, when they start bringing back uh, like hair mousse, because a lot of the yeah. time, a lot of these hairstyles could only be recreated with hair mousse. So I, I think that died at a bit of a death actually. The, the, that product, and I don't know if that that will be something that will come back out again and be used again. You know, from the times of like if you think of like George Michael and people like that, you know, Wham and all that. The only way you could really get that was back comb and moose hairspray. You know, there's, it's very hard to get it any other set, any other way. Yeah. So if that does come back a bit more hair and a bit wilder or whatever, I think you'll have to bring that bring that product back a little bit as well, which would be quite interesting. Yeah. So my scissor over comb is done. I'm gonna now use my my trimmers to to tidy and start to do this taper. So again, a bit of freehand as well. All right. So you're using the angle of the comb to create the taper. Put the comb on the side of the face, angling it out. That creates a nice seamless blend as well. I look at the angle of my comb, angle the teeth right towards me to maintain that length above it. Again, this is a taper, this isn't a fade, this is something that I taper again, it's just to slowly work down to shorter length. Would you like me to um, put a line on your sideburns, or do you want me to fade them out into nothing? What would you prefer? Um, wait, sorry, what? On your sideburns, would you like um, me to put a straight line, or do you want me to fade that out into nothing? Can you fade that out? Yeah, of course. Thank you. No problem. I'm fading that out, I'm going to use my size one comb. And then just shorter and shorter down the bottom. What I normally do is put the, the line of the neck here in first before we start our taper. Then going right down to, to nothing at the neckline as well to blend into the sideburns.
also starts to frame the face as well, which is really nice. And you put that little bit of little bit of sort of strength through the temple and through the side there. It starts to just frame the face a lot more as well. I find, especially on a haircut like this as well. Gives that nice clean finish, and then obviously you've got the, the natural centre part sitting through the top. So I always find it looks quite nice. I'm going to check that onto my number one comb and just take that at the bottom. We're working on a, a nice graduation to the top, but we're going to have to leave that fringe a bit longer to create that kind of centre part effect. Yeah. I've got a dog room next door, <laughs> as you can probably hear. Lower you down a little bit, I'm just going to work on this part in here as well. I'm just using my fingers to find the natural part. I'm going to work to that. That's where it wants to fall, actually. Just right there. So we've got the parting in, and now I'm going to work in horizontal sections on the right hand side. So we want to maintain length at the front, and we want to connect in the sides too. I'm going to connect, pull my fingers straight out. Because it wants to be shorter and then longer as it gets to the center. Fingers in, straight out, and connect. Keeping our fingers straight out, so we're not following the, the shape of the head, we're not going round like this, which would make it shorter here. We're keeping the length in. Work all the way to, to the back as well. Okay. Keep working over like so. And start to angle this a bit lower down now. So we're connecting it into the section underneath. We're not pulling it straight out. We're just starting to bring this down back into the last height of the last section. Going to start to angle that away. We want to leave as much length through that front as we possibly can. Some natural highlights going on here, tell me. <laughs> Is that the London weather? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Better good summer. We're really good summer. We start to angle away. We want to try and maintain as much length at the front as we possibly can. That does it create a nice graduation. There we go, now back into his natural parting. Pull that down. Working it back into the crown at the back. Like so. Bring that out. Connect into this bottom. This is our transition. So, how did you come across our channel, Tommy? Um, it all started like I think when I was trying to find like haircuts that I was looking for. Oh, okay. Uh, I just happened to come across your video, and oh, nice. um, it was just like satisfying to watch like the hair transformation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I mean, I watch them every now and then, but. Um, Every you know, now and then, are you telling me you don't wait till Sunday night? Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, Tommy, you're in the chair, man. You've got to say you do. <laughs> no. Um, but no, I mean, I watch them a good amount. Um, they're, good they're fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. just different. <laughs> Be honest as well with us. Do you watch the first bit and then skip to the end? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, that's I, good. That's good. That's good. I do like skip through the video a little bit okay, when yeah. just because like since I'm not a barber, like when you're saying like what you're doing, I don't really watch it that much. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I watch almost like the whole video through. That's good, man. That's yeah. good. <laughs> I get loads of clients who come to me and they're like, uh, like, oh man, I love your videos. I'm like, do you love the videos or do you prefer the before and after? What do you what do you tend to watch? And they're like, well, yeah, I do watch <laughs> yeah. the before and after. Yeah. I've had people. I had a guy in McDonald's. I went to McDonald's <laughs> and he served me. He went, he went, oh, you're that barber off TikTok. And I was like. Am I? <laughs> I didn't even know. I think that was before I even knew you'd, uh, Liam had done a TikTok. I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. Well, how long have you guys had the uh, new studio for? A day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, this is our second day filming in here. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, we've, we've been in here for like a month. We obviously started the, yeah. the build, but um, yeah, we've had, um, we've had it for, this is our second day of filming. Oh, wow. Here, so, yeah, yeah. 
Right, so I'm just going to start drying this off now, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dry it with my fingers, like so, okay? Because I want you to see how this falls so nicely into the look we're trying to achieve, because of the way we've cut it, okay? So the length of the front is exactly what you came in with, all right? Okay. Everywhere else is what we've kind of cut into, all right? So working with your natural parting makes it really easy for you to get the same look again. A really nice, easy way, old school way of doing it is I always dry it back, like so. If this is if you want to get it, you know, perfect. Mm -hmm. Dry it back. And all I need you to do, mate, is just shake your head left and right for me. There we go. And I'll fall into the palm for you. So, final thing to do is just to break up where the, the, the connection is. So as you can see where we've cut here, it's going to be still quite long. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to point cut into that to create a softer finish. Come that forwards and then just start taking sections just at that transition point like so. And if you notice, I haven't cut into the top at all because we need that length. I haven't thinned it out, I haven't used a razor or nothing. We need the weight, we need, the sh we need all of the length to do this for us. This needs to be the shape that's cut in. So it's a very kind of, again, if you think about like the, the style we're going for, think of the techniques that we used back then, 90s, late 80s, not early 90s. You didn't see much texturizing going on. Everything was very like precision cutting. Bobs was kind of popular, things like that, you know. So a lot of it was down to like just a little bit of this, this sort of like, you know, kind of thinning out the, 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 the weight. But a lot of it was, was generally just the way it was cut. So you've got to kind of use their methods as well to create the look to look the same. No point in doing putting a razor through it because it's not going to give the same effect. Anybody um, who was working um, doing these styles in like the sort of late 80s, early 90s, anyone who, if, if you do watch our channel, just let me know how, uh, how well we got it looking the same. Because obviously I wasn't cutting hair then, so I'd love to know what techniques you used. Um, if, if any, if it was the same as this. Um, if you did do any texturizing, that'd be really cool to know what you, what you, you actually, uh, what type of techniques you use, but also what products did you use as well? If you could, um, if you wouldn't mind, just leaving a comment. It'd be quite interesting to, for me personally to know as well. Hopefully, I've done it justice. You know, again, a bit more new school approach, I guess. And just through the back, so it's very thick. So yeah, a little bit of powder, I think, would be awesome for you. All right, right. so I'll pop a little bit in. And you can tell me what you're thinking. And again, play around with it, yeah. you know, style it how you like. No, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it, man? Yeah. Fall in the way it wants to, like that. And then just fire over the powder. Bring it. There you go. That is your centre part cut in, mate. All right. And now you can just grab it out now and it'll stay in the same shape. Perfect. Thanks, man. Thank you. You're welcome, mate. Let me, just, uh, let me show you the back and sides as well so you can see what we've done. So we've gone into a nice taper okay. down the bottom. Nice and tidy, but you've got that graduation. Um, okay. Obviously, as short as we can go without it looking yeah. too heavy on top so you can still blend it in. Okay. We've got a nice movement. So it is a very, very centre part. It's a very, mm. uh, very 90s, actually, mate. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> you've got the hair. Like I said, you've got the hair for it. Thank you. That looks awesome. Happy, yeah? Yeah, no, great. Yeah, this is great. Thanks, man. Thank Cheers, you. Tommy. Yep.